Matt is the most energetic and active actor out there right now. The Nickel Samurai really sealed his place as a pop idol, but he kept adding fuel to the fire of his rivalry with Juan anyway. Mr. Juan, he's the jammin' ninja, right? Those two would butt heads over everything they could think of. But I'd say that Matt was the one who almost always came out on top. I guess some people only know how to relate to others by butting heads like a ram. Juan said that he'd take Matt out on this time too. So we joined a rival TV show. Take Matt on, yeah. And that was the Jammin' Ninja? The Stylish Nickel Samurai and the Burning Jammin' Ninja. Well, things turned real messy real fast, with those two using their shows for their war. And their final tally, look around. It's pretty obvious how things ended up. Matt even won the Grand Prix this year. The final win over his rival, I guess. Mr. Engard was going to hold a press conference, wasn't he? That's what I heard. Though if you wanted to get technical about it, it was the Nickel Samurai's conference. The Nickel Samurai? Yeah, he was supposed to wear his costume and give the press conference that way. He was going to be in costume. But why? I'm not sure. They don't keep me in the loop anymore. Um, I was just wondering, where's Mystic Maya? She's been gone for a long time. Now that she mentions it, Maya was only going to answer a phone call. Maybe she got lost. I'll take a quick look around for her. Okay, don't you get lost too. Ah! What is it, Mr. Nick? Huh, uh, I'm not sure. It's coming from this transceiver. Y yes, hello, right here. Is this Mr. Phoenix Wright? The attorney? And you are... You don't need to know who I am. I think you have other things to be concerning yourself with. Such as... Help! Nick! Mystic Maya! Leon, help! <laughs> Maya! So, Mr. Wright... Wouldn't you agree that the more important issue is the fate of the girl? Her fate? Does that mean what I think he means? Maya, where are you? Are you hurt? Come now. Don't fall apart on me yet. This... No. This can't be. Now that I have your attention, Mr. Attorney, I have a modest proposal for you. If you do what I require, then I will return your valuable item unharmed. What is this called again in your fancy lawyer terms? Kidnapping for ransom. Yes, that's it. This is a kidnapping. Ah! Mystic me, huh? My sight. Everything's fading away. Maya. Maya. Maya's been kidnapped. Are you there? Mr. Attorney, are you there? How much? How much do you want? Very good, Mr. Attorney. Glad you have such a good grasp of the situation. Hurry up and state your condition and then return Maya. Money! It's not what I seek. What? What I want is a certain verdict. I would like a complete acquittal. Complete acquittal? What in the world have you done, Denise? I am not the person you will be representing. What? You are currently at the Gainwater Hotel, are you not? And I know that a murder has just taken place there. Juan Cordita was killed, and the suspect is mad in guard. You are, as expected, quite on top of things, Mr. Attorney. Now then, what I want is very simple. I want you to obtain a complete acquittal for Matt and Guard. Matt and Guard? But why? He did not kill anyone. I can attest to that. However... However? However what? However, someone is framing him for the murder. A very smart someone who is setting him up to take the fall. If I agree and do what he wants, 
Can I believe he'll keep his end of the bargain? That's okay, you're gonna do it anyway because you help random people who need an attorney. You are, of course, liberty to take me at my word or not. However, there's one thing you can take as fact. Right now, your very precious item is with me, in my possession. Maya, you have two days. Of course, tonight, you'll be in questioning with the police. But the trial is in two days. At that trial, you will win a not guilty verdict. Remember, you only have one chance. One chance, Mr. Attorney. One? You expect me to get a not guilty in one trial day? That never happens. Yes, exactly. I don't believe I was wrong in choosing you, so don't let me down. Ah! Oh yes, that's right. Now that I am playing the role of the kidnapper, I can't pass up this chance to say. And don't even think about calling the cops! Hmm. Not great, but you get the idea. Dang it! Who... Who are you? Very well. I'll tell you that much. The voice has changed from like a really deep to a high voice now for some reason. My name is... D Killer! Mr. Nick, where is Mystic Maya? She's been kidnapped. No, it's all my fault. If only I'd gone with Mystic Maya. It's not your fault, Pearls. But it is, it is! Mystic Maya! Mr. Wright, I think we... I think we should tell the police what's going on. No, we can't do that. If we do, no, who knows what happened to Maya? To Maya. Mr. Nick, what about the detective we saw earlier? Detective Gumshoe. Yes, that's it. Wait here and I'll be right back. Alright, I'll take care of Pearl while you're away. What? Ransom? Shh, not so loud. Ransom is complete acquittal for Mountain Guard. Wait, the deal is complete acquittal in exchange for Maya, you mean? And this means Mountain Guard is obviously the killer, pal. No doubt about it. But the guy said that Mountain Guard is innocent. You really believe what a kidnapper tells you, pal? Uh, to be honest, yeah. Yes, he has a point. If Vingard really is innocent, then why the kidnapping? And on top of everything else, it's all this evidence we keep finding. Huh? The forensics team's having a field day back there. Um, but it's strange. There's so much evidence that it feels like something's wrong. Is too much evidence? Is that possible? Actually, didn't the kidnapper say something about Vingard being set up? Anyway, it looks like you won't be leaving here tonight, pal. Just sit tight and cooperate with the investigation. Tomorrow you can start yours. Alright. Isn't there another way? We've also got to be careful about pushing the kidnapper the wrong way. You're right. Date? Time? Location? Mm, oh, my head. Where... Where am I? I wonder if I'm still in that hotel. What happened to me? Nick. Pearly. Come on, you guys. This isn't funny anymore. I see you have awoken. Ah! Who are you? Me? I'm known as... D-Killer! D-Killer? You mean like an assassin? I'm... I'm too young to die! Don't worry! You're not my target! For now, anyway! Ah! Nick! Nick! Where are you? Help me! Yes, that's right! Only one person can save you now, and that is Mr. Phoenix Wright! 
Huh? What? Nick? Nick's going to save me? Calm down and be a good girl. Think of this as a business transaction. A, a business transaction? I'm going to contact him now. I hope you'll cooperate and play your assigned role well. Nick? What's going to happen to me? Nick? Curly? Sis? Make sure at key points that you say, help me, Nick. Help! I'm trapped. It hurts. Please send help, Nick. That way he'll, he'll listen a little more. Is this Mr. Phoenix Wright, the attorney? You don't need to know who I am. I think you have other things to be concerning yourself with, such as... Nick, send help! <laughs> Alright, well like I said, I had about an hour in me. I'm going to stop right here. Um, I am going on vacation soon, but tomorrow, depending on how things go, I may be able to get the rest of this, you know, set out, so to speak. If not, then I, um, I'm bringing my computer with me so I can edit it and then upload this. Um, so apologies ahead of time, but just, uh, I can only, you know, talk for so long, especially when I record stuff. I usually enunciate, my voice is louder and it, uh, makes it a little bit worse. So... Anyway, uh, maybe I might be back tomorrow seeing how I feel. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for some more Ace Attorney Justice for All. Bye! Hey guys, it's me, Mr. 250, and welcome back to Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Justice for All. So I'm feeling a little better. Um, we're going to go try to finish this up. Hopefully it's not too long. I think it'll probably be another like half an hour. Good morning, Pearls! Mr. Nick, Mr. Nick, come on. Let's hurry and go see Mr. In Guard. We have to wait a bit, Pearls. Visiting hours don't start until 9 a.m., so... Oh, I see. Uh, Mystic Maya, if only... If only I had gone with you. Poor Pearls. She's been like this since last night. We managed to get home somehow yesterday evening. Thanks to Detective Gumshoe gently holding her by the hand and leading her here. But by the looks of it, I don't think Pearls got any sleep at all last night. Mr. Nick, Mystic Maya, she's alright, right? Yeah, she's alright. Either way, I'm going to save her. You can trust me on that. Please, please help her. I'm only able to stay this calm and collected because Pearls is doing the crying for the both of us. You want to talk about it? Um, I have a thought. Huh? You're going to represent Mr. In Guard, aren't you? Yeah, I don't really seem to have a choice. Um, but what if... What if he is the real murderer? What would you do then, Mr. Nick? Would you fight to get a not guilty for a murderer to save Mystic Maya? Pearls... Let's talk to Mr. In Guard first, okay? We can think of all the bad things we want, but it doesn't change a thing. Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry, I can't stop thinking about it. Pearls, you're really worried about Maya, aren't you? I don't have anyone else left in this world. What do you mean? My family's all gone. Her family? My father? He left my mother in the village behind and went away. I'm sorry. And my mother? She did that thing all for me. Mystic Maya, she's like a sister to me. She's all I have left in this world. Well, that's sad. Anyway, let's ignore that and go to the detention center. We couldn't wait for visiting hours to start, so Pearls and I came down here early to visit one Nickel Samurai charged with the murder of the Jammin' Ninja. Good morning. How are you today? 
I know this situation might be a little tough for you. Um, we're... Oh, sorry, dude. I already signed up. Excuse me? I already have life insurance. I signed up a long time ago because my job is, you know... Oh, no, 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 no. We're not insurance salespeople. Really? Dude, I really don't need that right now either. Fire extinguishers. I mean, this building is in my house, so... No, 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 no. We're not here to sell you fire extinguishers either. I'm a lawyer. My name is Phoenix Wright. A lawyer? I don't need that either. <laughs> Hold on a second. I'm gonna ask my manager, okay? The Nickel Samurai sure is a strange person, isn't he? I think strange is an understatement. Sorry about that. You're just in time. Huh? You're a lawyer dude, right? My manager's looking for a good one right now, so how about it? Mr. Nick, this is our chance. I have to make him let me take his case. I have to. I like how <laughs> a lot of times when we first get a client, we have to try to force them into letting us represent them. Alright. Matt in guard. Sorry to intrude, but I would like to ask you a few personal questions. Uh, that's okay, but dude, my autobiography is coming out soon, so if I say stuff without the publisher's approval, then I'm going to be in real hot water. Hold on a second. I'm going to ask my publisher, okay? Mr. Engard is so lucky. He has so many people he can talk to. Uh, I don't know if he actually has anyone he can really talk to. Sorry about that. Like I thought, the publisher said it'd be real bad if I said anything, dude. Does he have a mind of his own? Mr. Engard, I'd like to ask you about the murder. Oh, are you covering this for a tablet as a side job, dude? Uh, um, well, if you want my statement on this, you should ask through my staff. No, no, no. I'm not asking on behalf of a tabloid. Hold on a sec. I'm gonna ask the president of the studio, okay? Is he alright, Mr. Nick? If we're talking about Mr. Engard's brain here, I wouldn't put my money on it. Sorry about that. The studio president said... Even Neo Mount Fuji itself knows that I'm not the murderer. Um, Mr. Nick, what's Neo Mount Fuji? It's a mountain in the city of Neo Old Tokyo, the city the Steel Samurai protects. Or Nickel Samurai. Did it say Steel? It might have said Nickel and I just completely like this comment. Alright. Mr. Nick, what are you going to do with that? I don't know yet, but I figured I could at least show it to him. Is that a transceiver? Hey, it looks like a real nice one, too. I got it as a present from someone. Hmm, interesting. I've also been instructed to take your case. Is that what you heard from the transceiver? Yes. Dude, that's terrible. Don't let some disembodied voice boss you around. This coming from a man with a cell phone on his wrist. What's that? It's a ticket for the press conference. You were going to give one after winning the Grand Prix, right? Huh? Me? Yes, while you were in costume, no less. Um, I never heard anything like that, dude. I only heard about the stage show. I always leave that kind of stuff to my manager. He didn't know? That's odd. Well, dude, I think it's about time for me to get going. Please, wait! I really need to take your case. There's always other people in need of a lawyer, right? Want me to introduce you to a few? Please, please let Mr. Nick represent you. Man, oh man, lawyers these days. Now you dudes use kids to pull in clients too? If you don't take me as your lawyer, then D-Killer is going to... Wait, what did you just say? D-Killer? 
D killer? What's he doing? Looks like he's mulling something over. Alright, dude. I accept your terms. Huh? I'll let you represent me in court. We did it! We did it, Mr. Nick! Uh, yeah. I don't feel any better for it. And he doesn't look too happy either. Go ahead, ask me anything. I'll help you out as much as I can. You want to see my cool badge? Mr. and Guard, this is an attorney's badge. Dude, I'm sorry, but I don't have the free time to be looking at things like that. Huh? I'm much too busy with Nickel Samurai stuff right now. I don't have the time to take a lawyer's correspondence course. Why does he believe I'm a salesman? Insurance and then extinguishers? Now this. Man, I think my lucky star is that people know my name. Well, you're quite the hero, and you're in the national spotlight. I didn't know who he is. Does that mean I'm not a good citizen? Uh, it's really great to be the Nickel Samurai. Dude, lately I just keep on getting more and more popular. True enough. The Nickel Samurai is very popular among high schoolers and secretaries right now. I guess Mr. In Guard is a way of catching the eyes of women. Do you know my motto? Refreshing like a spring breeze. That's what I am. A spring breeze? That's why this kind of scandal is disastrous, dude. I mean, even if I get out of here tomorrow, it's still gonna look bad. But everyone loves a good scandal. Can you tell me about your activities last night? After I got the award, I took a break and went back to my room. I had that post-ceremony stage show to do. So I was in my Nickel Samurai costume. And you were alone the entire time. My manager was running around being busy, so yeah. Because of the press conference you were supposed to hold after the show? I told you, dude, I have no idea about any press conference, alright? That's strange. I thought the Nickel Samurai was going to confess something. Anyway, when I was leaving my room, that's when I noticed it was kind of noisy. Mr. Karita was already dead at that time. Yeah, that's what I gathered anyway from my manager. I'm beginning to gather that this guy can't do a thing on his own. Ha <laughs> ha. And that's when the detective in the green coat showed up. He searched me, and then out of the blue, the dude arrested me. About you and the victim, Mr. Juan Carita, what sort of... That's got nothing to do with anything, dude. Man, with that face of his, you can't even tell he's the same age as me. And he wanted to try to make a jammin' ninja movie, even though we all know it failed. The Nickel Samurai still won in the end, right? Yeah, I took the Grand Prix by storm. So why would I, the winner, have any reason to kill the guy anyway? Dude, you'd think it'd be the other way around, you know? Um, do you know why you were arrested? I guess maybe my full body search went badly. Did they find something on you? They found a button from the Jammin' Ninja's costume. A button? I don't get it either. It was caught in the pleats of my samurai pants, or Hakama. Ah! Dude, I really think someone planted it there, though. I'm serious. I wonder if that's what really happened. I guess this is about all I'm going to get out of him. Mr. Nick. Yeah? Let's ask one last thing. Let's test Mr. and Guard to see if he really is innocent or not. We can do that? Yes. If you use this, Maya's Magatama. He won't be able to hide any secrets from you, Mr. Nick. I'm sure of it. I get it. Mr. and Guard, I'd like to ask you one more question. Please answer me honestly. What is it, dude? Did you kill Mr. Juan Corita? <laughs> Let me ask my manager. 
please put the phone away and answer this question yourself. Alright. Just so we're clear, dude. I didn't kill anyone. And that includes Juan and Karita, okay? Well, Mr. Nick? Nothing. Not a chain or lock in sight. Which means... It's alright to trust him. Yeah, it does appear that way. Well, at least I can breathe a sigh of relief knowing my client is innocent. Um, the trial's tomorrow, right? I'm counting on you, dude. To be continued! Well, if I knew it was going to be that short, I would have just kept going. I usually remember most of these being about an hour and a half, though. I didn't want to, you know... I didn't want to go all the way through that and then, uh... Have another, you know, like, hour and a half, or, you know, hour, or half an hour, something still. Fifteen minutes would have been fine. Anyway, um, I'm going to stop for now. Like I said uh, before, I'm going to be on vacation for about a week. Um, so I won't be probably, I don't, I could potentially record something if I really wanted to, but it'd be in a hotel room. Um, so <laughs> I'm not really planning on doing that, but, uh, when I come back, you know, I'll probably be doing more stuff. So anyway, I'll be out for about a week, but I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you next time when I get back.